A patient medical home is simply your primary care practice. It's the place where patients feel most comfortable addressing their health care needs. It's what family doctors are already doing today. It's simply framed in a slightly different way that looks particularly at some aspects that are less emphasized now in our current way of practicing. So it's a family doctor's office that is typically more than one provider, each with their own patient panel so that patients know who their primary care provider is and providers, family doctors, know who their patients are. It's based on understanding what your patient makeup is. Really one of the biggest changes is it embraces the idea of bringing allied health care providers into the fold of care for patients. This is going to look different for different patient medical homes and this is where much of it is based on what the needs are of that panel of patients for that practice. And so really when we talk about teams or allied health care providers, it's about broadening the team a little bit and still understanding that the core, the center of that team is the patient and their family doctor because that's where the trust tends to lie. The other aspects of a patient medical home really have to do with the um, things that support family doctors to provide good care. So in enabling a strong communication throughout the system, enabling electronic medical records to really support uh, the, the care of the patient. One of the aspects of the patient medical home that uh, BC sort of put its own spin on is this idea of networking providers together to better uh, support each other to provide care. And then the idea of patient medical homes networking together along with community resources, particularly health authority resources, to provide for the primary care needs for the patients as a whole. And this is where we move into the primary care network which is a new idea in BC.